Now, this big, beautiful male leopard that we can see walking here is actually doing something very interesting. He's actually following the scent of a female that would have walked in front of him. Now, with leopards, they are very territorial and they will mark their territories and they will often find marking posts or marking spots along the way on generally well-used um, routes that they will take. You can see him kind of sniffing up in the tree there um, trying to pick up on some of the smells. Um, now, females will leave scent behind even when they are in estrus and this is to attract the attention of the male. So what the male is doing now in the tree He's trying to pick up the pheromones that she has left behind. Now, what will happen is he's going to use the VNO, the Vomoro nasal organ. Now, what this organ does, it actually tests the pheromones that is left behind by the female um, to see if she's sexually ready to mate or not. Now, this organ is completely separate from the mouth or the nasal cavities, seeing it is it's situated completely on its own. And it has its own nerve connections to the brain. So it works completely different from the sense of smell and also from the mouth itself. And there we can see again that kind of pulling back of the top lip, kind of trying to get that scent up into the VNO. This is a lesser bush baby. They are tree dwelling primates and are completely nocturnal. They spend most of their time in trees and have massive eyes which helps in the low light. They have big ears that is collapsible that can rotate independently like radar dishes that is used to listen and catch their prey. Now they eat various insects and tree gum and sap, would sometimes eat fruit if it's available. Males have territories that is constant marked by urinating on their hands while they jump from tree to tree. They can jump up to about 2.5 meters in a single jump. They have extremely powerful back leg muscles that makes this possible. Now the muscles takes up one quarter of the animal's weight. So here we have an aardvark which is a very rare sighting. You can see he's got very large ears, very large nose and they don't really have very good eyesight. So they use that nose to find termites and insects in the ground and the ears also helped so they can detect any potential threats in the area. But it's also awesome to see these animals and they always dig these massive holes to live in which will then later be used by warthogs and porcupines and all kinds of other animals.